If you are facing a problem with Windows 10 update, and whenever you click on the update button you receive error message. Or when you try to open the Windows update you will receive a message saying something went wrong please try to reopen the Windows update again. Or if you are unable to download any program, or application, or a game from the Microsoft Store, because the Windows update is disabled, and the temp folder location changed. If you have one of these problems, or all of them, I will show you in this video how to solve them in a very fast and simple way. If you run the Windows Update Troubleshooter, it will return with the result that troubleshooting couldn't identify the problem. As you try to give a feedback on the troubleshooter, you will get an error. I spent many hours during three days searching on Google for a solution for this problem. I found many proposed solutions. I tried all the proposed solutions I found on the internet, but none of them was able to solve my Windows 10 update error problem. I tried downloading antivirus software and check my computer for viruses or malicious software, but nothing was detected. So after I found the solution to my Windows 10 update problem, I decided to share this solution with other people who may face the same problem to save their time and efforts. If you run the services application and searched for the Windows Update service you will notes that it is disabled. To enable it select the Windows Update service then click on the mouse right click button then choose properties. The next step is to enable the Windows Update by changing the start status to automatic start or manual start. The next step is to start the Windows Update service by clicking on the start button. As you can see even after enabling the Windows update the problem still not resolved. Many of the solutions which I found on Google proposing changing the start status of the Windows update service from the Windows registry editor by changing the Windows update service start value from 0, disabled, to 2, automatic, or 3, manual. You can do this process as following. In the search ribbon type located at the Windows bottom left corner type, Registry Editor then run it as Administrator. When the Registry Editor window open press the function key F3 to open the search pop-up screen then type, Windows Update. The next step is to start the search process by pressing the function key F3 to find the next key. While searching for the Windows Update key in the Windows 10 Registry Editor, I found keys for a program named SU10 Guard. In the description of this program it is mentioned, Stop Updates 10 Perinatally Block Windows Update. The folder of this program found inside the Windows folder, and inside a folder named F1 VPUD6. This program is not one of the Windows 10 programs and when you try to run it you will get a pop-up screen showing the publisher status as unknown publisher. This program blocks the Windows 10 update perinatally.
If you try to delete this program folder you will not success, because the folder is opened by another program. Which is the SU10 guard which blocks your Windows update. Moreover you can't delete this file, because you need to provide administration permission to delete this file and its components. To be able to delete the SU10 GERD folder go back to the registry editor and delete its tree folder. The next step is to go back to the F1 VPUD6 folder located inside the Windows folder and delete it. The next step is to enable the Windows Update service. Scroll down the services list till you find Windows Update. Select then with the Muse right click select properties then change the startup type to automatic or manual press on the apply button the click the start button to start the Windows Update service. Now you are done and your Windows will update normally. Now if you go to the downloads from the Microsoft Store you can download your applications, programs, and games normally.